Well, hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Mark Pensenstadler. This video is part two of the fuel sender installation video. In part one, I installed the fuel senders into the wing tanks. And since then, I have installed the tanks into the wings on the airplane. And if you remember at the end of that video, I said that I had an idea on, I think, what might be a good way to make a domed shape access cover for the fuel senders. I need it to be dome shaped because they stick out on top of the wing probably just about a quarter of an inch. This is the cover that I made. It's made out of fiberglass. You can see that it's dome shaped and a round cover that just goes over the hole. But this one here is a lot thicker than it needs to be. So I'm making another one that doesn't stick up quite as far. And I'm going to show you in this video how I make these in case you want to make one. But first let me show you how this fits on the wing. Okay, so this is the cover on top of the wing. You can see how it just fits perfectly to the wing. You can see that it's domed. And here's one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I did this in the other, or in the, the rest of this video. But you notice that it fits perfectly to the shape of the wing. If I turn this 90 degrees, can you, well, it's hard to tell in the video, but can you see how it no longer fits anymore? It rocks back and forth. That's because I've made this curved to fit the same airfoil shape of the wing. So anyway, that's the cover for the senders. And let's get started making the next one. You can see I have this skin clamped to a piece of wood. That wood is just sitting on a table. The other end is up on the workbench. And you can see it creates the curve, which is approximately the same curve as what's on the wing, close enough for what I'm doing. I've put duct tape down, I've cut out the hole. You can see I have two pieces of fiberglass cloth ready. This is eight ounce glass and some masking tape. So all I'm gonna do here is take a piece of class, of glass, kind of poke it down like that. And like I said, this one doesn't have to be nearly as deep, just a little bit. Once I get it set, I'm just going to tape all the edges down. And that's it. The trick is getting this as even as you can. Because of the, the direction of the cloth, it doesn't fall down into the hole exactly the same. So I don't think I'll ever get a absolutely perfect dome. Um, I'll get it the best I can, but then I think I can get it mostly perfect with the putty on it once it's complete. I started telling you guys what I'm doing and my camera clicked off, so I don't know if it recorded the last, the last minute or not. But anyway, um, if it didn't, I poured a little bit around the edge like that, and I'm taking this brush and just pulling it in like this. And I'm just going to kind of spread it around the outside here because I'm going to put another layer on top. This is going to be, a, be two layers of, of, of glass. So I just want to kind of get it wet where the second layer is going to go. There we go. Now I will take the second layer and we're just going to lay it on top like that. And all we're going to do is let this sit for a little bit. And what will happen is I'll leave the camera on so you can kind of see it and I'll just maybe play it and fast forward on the, the video. But you'll start to see this, all the resin soak up into this second layer of cloth. I'm kind of hoping these two layers are actually touching each other. I can't tell. I think they are. And what I'm trying to do when I do this also is keep this, this dome or bowl as it is right now as perfect as I can. Like I said, it won't come out absolutely perfect, but with a little filler on it after it's done, some, some uh, I use the Super Flight Super Fill. It will... Uh, 
you can get it pretty, pretty nice. So I'm gonna let that sit just for a few minutes. And what I'll do is I'll take my brush, dip it in the epoxy, and then uh, kind of get, get the rest of this layer here. But can you see how that, uh, all that resin from the first layer soaked up into this layer of, of glass? In fact, I'm barely gonna even need to add any more, just maybe a little bit around the edge here, just to make sure I have a wide enough edge. And I'm getting down under it and looking, just to make sure uh, it's a nice bowl. If I can see any spots that need worked, I can do that with the brush while it's still wet. What this tends to do with the way the fiberglass weave is, is it tends to, to have four quadrants. So it has, I can e even see one here, where there, 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 and there comes to more of a point instead of a nice bowl. Um, but what you do is you just work it the best you can, and the other little flat spots that are in between those points, I'll fill with the super fill, just like I did on the first one. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of this resin and I'm gonna work it into the, the glass just around the edge here. Now normally when I do this, when I'm, I'm working it in and getting out any air bubbles or anything, I cut off half of this brush. Uh, the reason I didn't cut this one is because I wanted a nice soft brush to get this into that bowl. Um, so up here, I probably should cut off half of this brush now or get another brush and cut off half, but this is almost perfect as it is now. I don't really need to add any more. It pretty much all soaked through. So again, what I'm doing here with the shape of this aluminum, since it's up on the, the bench here, it's, it's, it's making the shape of the airfoil of the wing obviously upside down. And then when I, I take this out of here and turn this whole thing over, I'll cut off the lip and then this will be formed very slightly like this so that it sits perfectly flat on top of the wing. Here's an air bubble right here I'm just gonna work out. You wanna make sure both of these layers of, of glass don't have any air bubbles between them because that creates a weak spot. Now obviously on something like this, this isn't structural at all, but you still wanna make it perfect. And that's about as perfect as I can get it. So, I'm just looking at that bowl. What I, what I probably should do, this is, you know, eight ounce glass. I thought about going to AutoZone and buying some, they have much, lighter, thinner fiberglass. It would actually probably work better for getting a nicer bowl. Um, but I actually forgot to get that fiberglass, so I'm just using what I have here. But this will work, this will work just perfect by the time I'm done with it. So that's it. I'll let it dry overnight. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll pop it off and cut it and see how it works. All right, so this is day two. This is completely dry now. I let it sit overnight. So I'm going to peel this tape off if I can. All right, what we're going to do is break this free of the duct tape. See how nicely that comes off? And that's because this resin won't stick to duct tape. So here it is. This one actually looks really nice. There's still a little bit of a flat spot, it looks like right here, which I can fill with putty, but it's a lot shallower and should fit nicely on the wing. So the next step is to cut this out and I'm just gonna rough cut around the edge with a pair of shears. 
All right, the next thing we want to do, since this is roughly cut out around the edge, is I want a real nice even lip around the domed part of this. Now pay attention because this is very, very technical on how I do this, okay? It's very difficult. What you need is a nut like this and a pen. What we do is I put that nut right on the edge of the, the, um, the domed part. And I just go around here like this, making marks. See, I told you how, how difficult and technical this is, right? So you can see right here, hopefully, you see the marks on there? Once I go all the way around, I can trim it and sand it to those marks. I won't bore you with the details, I'll do that off camera. So I've made all the marks around there, and with the shears, I've trimmed the fiberglass to about a sixteenth of an inch from the, the pen marks I put on there. And so the next step is I have some sandpaper. This is 80 grit and a piece of wood. Put those two together, and we'll go sand it right down to the line. I'll do that outside because I try to keep the the sanding dust to a minimum in my hanger. Okay, I sanded it and this one's done. If you guys can see, you see this little blob of resin right here? That's because when this sits upside down, all that resin tends to pull in the middle and go through. Using that same sanding block, this is easy just to knock off. But right now, I wanna go see how this fits on the wing. Put on my glasses so I can actually see it. So the curve goes this way. There it is, look at that. It just fits absolutely perfect all the way around there. And it's plenty tall enough. I would say this one is perfect. So the next step now is I just need to put some uh, putty on here just to kind of even out this dome a little bit and make it a little more perfect than it is. But, uh, it really works out nice. I'm just going to put probably five, five little rivets or screws right around the perimeter to hold it in place. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but you can see, yeah, you can definitely see the difference in height. Uh, this one is probably twice as high as this one. So nothing wrong with it being higher, but I figured I'll make it as shallow as I can. So this one I'll throw in the garbage. This one here I'll finish, and then I'll make one more for the other wing. Okay, what I've done is I've sanded this whole area just to rough it up so that the, the filler will stick to it. And I'm gonna mix up a batch of this super fill to spread on top of there. And I just thought I'd show you it because it's, it's so easy to mix this stuff up. All I'm gonna do is put a dab there so you can see it. In fact, I think I might need a little bit more. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. And you take half as much of this stuff. And it's funny because this stuff doesn't have any smell to it. The white part smells like dead fish. Kind of stinks. Oh, that really stinks. So there's, there's about half. So all you do is you mix it together. It only takes a, a minute here to mix up. This super fill is, is really nice stuff. It goes on super light. It sands kind of like balsa wood, so it's really easy to sand. So now that I've got this mixed up, all I'm going to do is kind of spread it around here. Okay, you can see how I do that. I need to mix up just a little bit more, but 
That's it. We'll let this dry. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll sand it off and it should be an almost perfect dome. Well, here we are. We're almost done. It's moving along. Here's the cover now. I've sanded off that blue super fill on here. The dome shape is really nice. I'm real happy with that. It's nice and thin. It looks good. It's nice and even. And I've primed it with a primer surfacer, which is just a thick gray primer that fills in little scratches and things like that. But the real advantage of doing that is it gives the whole thing a nice even color. Uh, and it just helps you kind of see exactly the shape and, and how it's looking. There were some little uh, high and low spots and some pinholes and things like that, so I have a few more dabs of super fill on here. But I'm really happy with it. It's turning out really nice. It's gonna be a perfect cover for the wing. In the next step, I'll sand this off, I'll drill the five holes in here, and then I'll match drill it to the wing, and then I can rivet that wing skin onto the wing. The last clip I filmed, I just put in my video editing program. And I see that this video is already 15 minutes long, so it's getting kind of long. I think I'm just gonna end it here. Like I said, the next step is really just drilling those five holes in the cover and then match drilling it to the wing. You probably don't need to see me do that. If you're wondering how to get five evenly spaced holes around the perimeter of that circle, watch my video on cabin heat because I show you a, a very, very simple technique to do that. So that's it, thanks for watching guys. I hope uh, you know, this information is a little bit useful for you. If it is, give the video a like or a thumbs up or whatever YouTube calls it. So see you again on the next video.